Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, I've been doing a lot of the, uh, a lot of these, unlocking them, which require 200, uh, drow or dwarven, uh, things to take, which is quite a pain. It was way easier for the evil ones, because the drow have a, uh, bonus in their ability to, uh, they, they get a discount on faction, uh, the Royal Exchanges, that's the word I'm looking for. So I've been picking those up, and they're pretty good. I think they're pretty good. Uh, particularly love the Elven one, because it gives me an extra 10 auto-clicks, which I used to get this, which took eternity. And ended up being a boost to non-unique buildings. Um, might be good with some builds, I don't know. None of the builds I'm using. But the big thing is... This requires 36 hours playing Good Aligned. It's 99% of the way there. And... So I'm about to discover what that is. Then I can look at this one, which requires 12 hours good, 12 hours evil, 12 hours neutral. So I just need to leave it for another 24 hours, basically. <laughs> to get this one unlocked. And then there's still three more days to get the Druid stuff unlocked, but, you know, I'm almost getting all the researches done. I'm, I've am i got most of them done now. So, we have three goals here. First, this, which I've definitely got. Second, I have cast this 2,000 times. I believe it's, the artifact is a... 1% chance if you have 40,000, so I'm looking at 0.05% chance per excavation. Is that right? I think my math is wrong. Anyway, I have a chance of getting the bottled voice. So we're going to dig for that, and we'll do it in batches of 100. The long shot is maybe I'll be able to get enough royal exchanges over here to uh, also get 200 and pick up whatever this research is. But that one's a long shot. I'm not expecting it. Um, I'm not actually spec'd towards that. Third pull. Come on, give it to me. Four. Five. Come on, you slot machine. Spit it out. Six, I'm running out of pulls. Seven, eight, oh come on, I left this running for so many hours. That's, nope, didn't get it. Ah, oh, not even close. Not even close. Ah. Well, foo. No bottled voice for me. I left this running a long, long, long time auto-casting on this. I've been casted 2,000 times, 10 seconds per cast. Uh, you can do the math on that yourself. It's a lot of time. I left it running. Not as much as I left it running on the auto-clicking thing, though. That took a while. Come on. Come on, give it to me. All right, well, I'm not getting the bottled voice, so I may as well pick up the Dwarven Trady now. And with that... Do a little more Fairy Dwarf. Maybe I should have picked, looked at some of the newer picks and thought about them a little. Ah, whatever. This is a good build. I know this is a really good build. Let's see how many gems we can get. Ah. <laughs> uh. So, I'm going to have to spec myself towards faction coins to get this for angels and fairies yet. But, click, click, click. 
Who? Who? Big numbers. And get them. Pretty good. Considering that uh, the uh, miracle isn't even on, isn't even on the enchanted field. It's sitting here on Hall of Legends. If I wait for the miracle to hit this, I'll get probably enough to go to the next reincarnation, which I guess I need because I used this up <laughs> to no effect. Come on, what's the bonus going to be? You know, you see, you look over and you see it's at 99%, and you think, I'll start recording now, and it'll... But no. When it's 99% of 36 hours, that could be a while. So I'm just going to start recording again when it finally, finally crosses over. Which will probably be about three seconds after I push the stop recording button. And there we finally are. Increase Holy Light Multiplier additionally based on the amount of times you cast your faction spell in this game. Well, I... Wait, faction, yeah, faction spell. Fairy chanting. I cast that a lot! So I guess this is what it looks like on when it's really built up and good. Whatever they had, it was enough. Hmm. I, I have no idea if I'll ever use this. But I've unlocked it. And I'm sure there are one of these secret trophies or an... Go away. One of these secret trophies or another is going to be based off of uh, getting the rest of these researches done. Looks like two. Uh, with whatever bonuses they supply, which I'm hoping will turn out to be an extra pick off of each of these. I'm probably dreaming, but still. That an extra pick off each research category would be pretty nice. Uh, and then who knows what I might use. Maybe I would use this. So, from here, I need to spend tw 12 hours evil and 12 hours neutral. But at least the, oops, not that one. At least the neutral stacks towards, you know, I can do that as druid. Man, that's a long way off. I've played more time as undead than angels. What? Uh, I'll have to fix that sometime. The angels aren't really that useful a faction anymore. Ever since mercenaries gave me faster mana, I, I stopped using angels because I, I appreciate their abilities, but by themselves, they're, they're not so great. Not so great after all. Anyway, I am fairly close. But I need to spend at least 24 more hours getting this before I actually re reincarnate again. Need, need this first. This will probably be the last long, slow one for a while. Unless it pops up new things, I should have all of the really slow researches, excluding the druids. Stupid druids! <laughs> you want me to play three days as druids? Ah! Anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, that's all. For the moment. I finished. The, well, this, the latest thing I was working on. Okay, so I already mentioned earlier when I got this, that took one and a half days. Add to that this. Increased production of all buildings based on the difference of time spent between the three alignments. A smaller difference produces a higher bonus. This looks like a pretty good bonus to me. And also this. Increase Blood Frenzy Multiplier, additionally based on the number of times you cast your faction spell. This one's not impressing me so much, but still. Three. This one took a day and a half of evil. 
this one took a day and a half of good, and this one took a day and a half mixed up, but really, because I did the, all of these in the same go, it just took 12 hours neutral. Oh. At this point, all that's left to me is Druid set here, and whatever 560W is... Once I do those, I will have every single research, except whatever ultimate one is still awaiting me in the distance here. Still, I got, I'm, I've, I've just about, and then once I get this druid one and this, whatever this final thing is over here, I can plan out, I'm going to have to plan out new research builds, and I have, I have ideas I have been given some small hints, too, in the uh, comments. Um, specifically, I was told to think about angels. And pointed out that a lot of these abilities relate to mana regeneration and spells cast. And uh, also, uh, there's... Oh man, those those artifacts. I think I've already talked about them and what pain in the butts they'll be. I've got, at this point, the only artifacts I have left, and there's a bunch of researches that relate to artifacts and other things that, that give me bonuses based off artifacts that are just, just good. So, the ones that I need... The fairies have went and hid a bottle of voice. I assume they must have stole it from from uh, Ariel, the Little Mermaid, or something. Maybe Ursula just left it on a shelf somewhere, and the fairies giggled and ran off with it and buried it. They won't tell me where it is unless I spend an inordinate amount of time with them prancing around with the uh, dance spell or whatever it is. The Faceless have lost some goo somewhere, and they're so embarrassed about it that I'll have to pick their brainwaves for, um, well, 400 times 10 minutes. That's 4,000 minutes to get a 1% chance of figuring out where they buried it, or misplaced it. And then there's the Undead Artifact. Presumably, I have to line all the dead up and dig around in their bodies to find who stole or is missing whatever it is they... Whatever it is. I don't know. Undead. What? what it. But as someone pointed out, with the power of trained assassins, I can boost my offline time incredibly rapidly through spells. Which will make it so much easier to get the undead one. Particularly since there are things to boost my mana regeneration. Spells to reduce the cost. Or researches to reduce. There it is. To reduce the cost of my spells. And most importantly, if I play as goblins, I can get like a half dozen tax collections per click. And all that adds up to, yes, I can absolutely get the undead one without too, too, too much trouble. But the biggest push for me is still going to be two and a half days of druid. And the druids are so worthless. I... I... I don't know what to say. I Maybe my builds are all wrong. Maybe I should go online and see if I can find a decent build. But, but compared to Titans, or especially compared to the Prestige factions, the Drow and the Dwarves, the Druids, they just, they, they got nothing. I, 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 got, I got nothing <laughs> I can do with them. The only strategy I have would be maybe to try to get this to cover the entire swath. Though, honestly, I'm more interested in attempting mercenaries with that. But anyway. Alright. Anything special? No, nothing special again. Jeez. I know I'm right on the cusp of something. Something. 
I'm right on the edge of something. I don't know. <laughs> I know something big is coming. From things that have been said in the comments, I know th something big, like something that's going to be a game changer, is, is dead ahead. Guess I gotta earn it, though. I don't want to earn it. I want now. <laughs> I don't want to work for it. Alright, uh, well, I guess I'm going to get myself that undead artifact next. Get my sights on that. And then... Well, let's find out... Oh, wait, I can't click it. Let me find out what that research I'm missing under uh, the W is. I didn't even, I didn't even try. I didn't even do anything yet. I was just working my way up, and all of a sudden, it just handed me uh, a, an achievement and a research. So I gotta find out what this is. Discover all underworld researches and. Oh, 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 okay, all I had to do was have mercy. Okay, so having picked up uh, this one, gave me this one. So that literally leaves just the druid set over here. That's it. That's all I got left. And I really would like to know what my prize for underworld researcher is, um, but I don't have enough uh, gems. I don't have enough coins. I, I can't actually get, get my... Uh, get my prize yet <laughs> please please give me the ability to pick more researches in my builds whoops uh, 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 oh cinematic mode uh, hmm I didn't didn't mean to do that okay anyway we'll see I I'm down to just one one thing left and I'll have got them all. Because cause you gotta, gotta catch them all. Research, right? Huh. I'm happy. <laughs> no, I really am happy that I got that. Like, without even trying. Like, just, just fell into my lap. I'm all like, yeah! Okay. All right. This time, the fairies are going to give up where they've hid their stupid bottle of voice. The thingy. Because I have a heck of a lot of resources to spend on it, and it should be a one in a thousand, well, a little less than one in a thousand chance. Here we go. Come on. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Ah! <laughs> oh! I did it! I was so annoyed last time when I failed to get it. <laughs> I had to get this stupid thing. Okay. So, I have stolen the voice of the fairies. Hold on, I need to be holding a bottle. I've stolen the voice of the fairies! <sighs> and I have done gotten quite a bit of progress on my druid and <sighs> all right anyway <laughs> continuing on, <laughs> on with uh more later okay what's this now your realm has reached such an immense amount of wealth so much that your treasury can no longer contain it let's build more treasuries then you now need to ascend. Once you reach enough gems, click the new ascension button to see the world with new eyes. Where's... Where'd, where'd reincarnate go? No, no. I don't have dragons yet. I don't... I don't have the dragons yet. Ye ye Ascending will reset all the progress a reincarnation would, would, okay. So it's like a reincarnation. It will not set your reincarnation. Okay. okay. <sighs> as long as we're not starting over from zero. 
Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be so bad. I'd still have all my trophies and secret trophies. I mean, I guess I could have climbed back up fairly quickly, but still. Will not reset reincarnation account. Okay. And then we'll revert back to reincarnation for 41 with, with new requisites. Oh, really? Uh, sending you will unlock a new main currency. Diamond coins! But diamonds are a terrible way to do currency. There's a reason that everyone always uses metal currency. Okay, admittedly, I did write a fantasy novel where their currency was jade. But that's because they were wizards involved. <laughs> it was... There was, there was magic involved in that currency. I guess there could be magic involved in this currency. Then fine, whatever. I'll take it at face value. Diamond coins. And will be used for post-ascension upgrades and features resulting in much smaller numbers. All upgrades that previously cost gold coins will be free. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's it. We've done it. So much inflation, we have killed the currency. The currency is now worthless, we just had to print a new one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess people got tired of carrying wheelbarrow fulls of gold to buy a loaf of bread. Gold's heavy, you know. And the formulas for subsequent reincarnations will change to allow continued progress. All gifts, scry, ruby, event, and gem bonuses will not be affected by the ascension reduction. Uh huh. Hmm. These look more or less the same as previous bonuses. So. So, well, I just need to get to 144. Oh, by the way, next time I start, I'm totally going to have the next, the, the last, all, all the researches that I have access to. Finally, I will have them. Anyway, so... I guess that's what's going on. I have a feeling like there's more to this than it's... No, it, it, it's telling me all of it, right? I don't know. I have a feeling like there's more more to it than what it's told me. Hmm. Well, druids are certainly good at one thing. Massive, massive MP. And I've had them almost twice this fast before. Ten seconds away from the final researches. <sighs> Come on. Here it comes. I've been waiting for this forever. There it is. Five days. Faction coin fine chance. <laughs> Assistance based on mana produced. Could be useful. You get your Prestige Faction's Bloodline effect for free. Bloodstream counts time spent with both factions. Faction Bloodline bonuses increasing mana regeneration based on maximum mana. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Wow. Actually. Wow. I consider Bloodlines to be like the best thing. Like, of all the stuff I've unlocked, like, the bloodlines are just amazing. I could double up a bloodline or, uh... Also, I got this. Let's find out what this does. 97%? Yeah. It's about what I expected. That's what the last one turned out to be as well. That's kind of what they all turn out to be. But still, I mean, I can't, you know, I can't complain about 107% research, can I? Yes, I can complain. I can complain about anything I want to. Oh, well, that's it. I've done it. Every research, except whatever penultimate researches remain. I did it at last. And that one is really freaking good. Maybe I'm misjudging it. Maybe I'm... 
I mean, compared to the ones I'm already taking that are like a 2,000% bonus. I don't know, it's really good. I, I, I guess I have to test it to be certain of that. I could double up the mana regeneration, though. And it counts... It also boosts the blood stream. Where is that one? Where is that one? There it is. So it's at 460%, and then you'd add whatever else, which would probably be about that much or more. Unless I, for some reason, picked Undead or Angel, which I doubt I would. But, yeah, no, wow. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, this one looks really good to me. This one... It's not going to be as good as this one. So, probably never going to use this one. Faction coins... I got enough faction coin abilities. Still. Anyway, and that 107% boost. Alright. So... I guess from here I can spend time focusing on picking up the last couple of artifacts and ascending. Okay. So. I've managed to get 36 brainwaves by leaving it on for, um, I don't know, hours, 10 minutes apiece. You do the math. So, less than 0.1% per dig. By the math, I should get their goo. Should. Well, let's see if I actually get it. We'll take it in pulls of a hundred. Wondering why this goo, oh, I'm sorry, a completely odorless, sticky substance with a diaphanous, unsettling glow. Yeah, it's, uh, it's faceless poop. <laughs> okay, anyway. Ah, so there are, it doesn't do anything by itself, but there are various things, some of which I use, that are based on the number of uh, artifacts that you have, and... Of course, I'm not going to be able to put my finger on any of them on a, uh... Well, here we go. Here's one. Increased production based on the number of artifacts you found. There's one. There's there's others. Uh, there's quite a few, only a couple of which I use, but... But does matter, coupled with, of course, this thing. So... I still have four lore artifacts. Four. I want to have to find out what they are. Because the only one I can think of is the undead one. But still. Four lore artifacts and one quest artifact that hasn't come up yet. So. Yeah, no, I'm really going to have to find out what I'm missing. I'm going to have to count through all of these <laughs> and look through the, the wiki to find out what it is. But uh, I, I am very happy with how that turned out. That was great. That was amazing. Just bam. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I have the gems. It is time for the ascension. Ascend. Oh, I think how your realm has changed. The gold coins were turned into diamond coins. We've just been throwing all of our diamonds through a wood chipper for you. And all the upgrades which previously cost gold are now free. Because I can force everyone to work for free! <laughs> pay them? Why would I pay them? 
Diamond coins are more rare and precious than coins, so they will be produced more slowly. Yeah, no, they're all free. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Increase mana regeneration by 0.5. Why can't I have it, though? What is barring me from having this one? Oh, well. This is without gems. <laughs> why, why, why can't I... Oh, I see. It does have a cost in coins. In diamond coins. Well, okay then. Okay, there is a new excavation that has appeared. Okay then. What thing are they... Uh, um, hmm. I can't afford an excavation. I haven't... Oh! I only need 20? Your reincarnation power will gain a new bonus. You'll increase the production of unique buildings. Uh, hmm. Well, that puts an end to builds that I had started using that didn't focus on the unique building, ones that built around the others. That will pretty much put a stop to that. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Oh, no, no. What else has changed? Man, digging is super expensive now. Good grief. Ah, oh, the gems build up so slowly. Are these all free? Are, are these all free, then? I, I, I do believe that they're free. I'm sorry, I know it literally says free on it, but I'm just having a hard time accepting that. Well, that, um, that makes the early build so much easier. Wow, um, hmm. Okay, I'll just, uh, do that and that and that. I guess I can't afford to do a spiritual surge yet. Uh, hmm. Throw in one of those. And some of that. Huh. Hmm. I wonder what else has changed. Man, I'm already up to E6, and I only need to get to E20. The goal has been set so much, so much easier, to, so much more attainable. There we go. Oh. But this... Oh, crap, I already found a thing. Oh, it already does a thing. Increase the production of all buildings based on their tier. Didn't seem to do a whole lot. Oh, well. I'll examine that in more detail in a second. It's just occurring to me... Dwarf Inheritance just lost a ton of its value. Wait, why is Drow Heritage not doing so good? I have a shit ton of, of, uh, exchanges. Drow, what's, what's your problem? You're only giving me a 20% bonus now? Ugh. Hmm. Well, I see. Is that how it is? Oh, that wasn't a quest artifact. That was a lore artifact. A fragment of an utterly and completely unbreakable wall. Enjoy your paradox. Utterly and completely unbreakable! Okay, it's a piece of an unbreakable wall. But unbreakable isn't the word undisassemblable. Hmm? Hmm? Maybe the rest of the wall was breakable and this was the one piece that wasn't. No, it says an unbreakable wall. I could find other solutions. Maybe somebody just teleported this piece away from the rest. No matter how unbreakable you are when you're dealing with teleport. Oh, I left that running. 
Oh, well, whatever. I'll take all of this. Now, with gems. Let's see how this looks with a few gems under my belt. See if I can catch it before this runs out. Race against the clock. One minute, 20 seconds. All right. I'll stick to slow L for the moment. <clears throat> Even though I'm turning over so quickly that this is not exactly a slow... It's not exactly slow. This is a build I design, or... This is this is a build that's supposed to last, like, take a bunch of time. That's what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I know, I shouldn't waste them like that, but I'm trying to gauge... Because I still have a, a few artifacts to dig up. I still have to figure out exactly what. Okay. What I want to know is... Uh. Hmm. Yeah, they're moving at about the same speed. This is way down as well. Look at this. This number has gone way down. Everything has been shrunk. Okay, this hasn't been shrunk. This still reads, I think, is this the same? More or less. This one's the same. But so many of them have been shrunk down. It's strange. Hmm. Ah, well, ran out of that. <sighs> this is probably a very hard number to attain now, isn't it? Forty-three percent? One hundred and thirty percent? Ah! Look at how they changed the numbers! Why would they change the numbers down so far? Whoa, they're smallish. This used to be a thousand percent. Did the challenges get altered in the same way? Um, I need to, what's, a, what's an ability that would, uh, 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 yes, this is, yes, this is way down as well. Yeah, no, they've, they fussed with all the numbers. Huh. There's only one reason they would have messed with the numbers, but it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me because of how I thought this sort of thing worked. See, when I first saw clicking games, I wondered how they could deal with such massive numbers. Um, and I thought I had come up with the solution to what they were doing. Because, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, there's a couple clicker games that, you know, idle games that ran really slow, and I figured, okay, you guys did not optimize your code. But a lot of them, like this one, ran so smoothly with such massive numbers that, um, let me get a piece of paper and see if I can express what must have, I must have been wrong. Well, maybe I'm, I don't know. See, my thought was, see, in programming, you have to set aside space for how big a number can be, and, you know, like the classic example, integers. Um, the, the, the basic ones that you had for 8-bit games, you would have, uh, like, 255 or 256 is the maximum number you can have in a game, like Legend of Zelda for rupees. That was because that was a, that, that was, it was a programming thing, okay? That was how much space they were giving the number. Um... And for bigger numbers, you can allocate larger things. And what I thought 
about those was when you have an old arcade or NES game that allows for a massive number, I mean, obviously it sets aside more space, but <clears throat> you'll see a SMUPS where it's always, like, the smallest unit of you can get is 100, and, you know, everything is, is 100, 200, 500, 1,000. Well, those last two zeros, I figured those last two zeros didn't really exist to the computer, that they just basically stuck a couple numbers there, and the computer didn't bother counting, didn't bother with those with that added space. I'm probably making no sense at all. Damn. I am just babbling. How can I communicate this thought? When I was playing this game, let me see if I can, let me see if I can show it. Here, I'll just, uh, there. Okay. Right now, there's no gems, right? No gems, right? Okay. Remember, it had been counting up gems by this time, but right now, there are no gems. None. And some of the researches reflect this. Um, if I go over here, there are researches that are based on, oh man, even these were altered. Oh, all the numbers are different now. Um, <clears throat> this is gonna force me to recalculate a lot of things, or, anyway. Some of these things are based, uh, somewhere in here. Duh, I wish I could remember where. There's, there's ones that were based on the number of gems that you had. Uh, in your treasury, it said. Ah, oh, foreign exchanges. Somewhere in here. Anyway, anything that's based on the number of things over here it'll, will be zeroed right now. Because there's nothing here. The game is not bothering to calculate the number anymore because it is too small to be relevant. So it's not wasting processing time counting it until it uh, reaches a certain number. So, basically, what I'm saying is, and you can see, there there it starts. That's how, that's, that's the point where it starts counting right now. Now, if I was at 15 or 20 or 100, it wouldn't count until a much, much higher number. It wouldn't even bother. So, my thought was, basically, See, it's not, it's not really counting, it's counting eight and then three decimal places that it displays, E10. Maybe it counts another decimal place or two, but there comes a point, however many decimal points back, where it would just be zero. An irrelevant number that it wouldn't bother calculating. That's what I thought they were doing. Because, you know, 12, de you know, five decimal places back is irrelevant. There's no reason to waste processing power thinking about a number that far down the chain. And in that way, they would never have to deal with a number more than, you know, I don't know, a dozen, let's say a dozen digits long was their limit. They'd only ever deal with a dozen digits and then just whatever this notation is. That's what I thought they were doing. I'm sorry if all my words made absolutely no damn sense. <laughs> I understand what I'm trying to communicate, but I am um, not finding the words to communicate what I'm thinking. Sorry about that. Jeez, I'm already so f much of the way there, and I think I misclicked on one of the researches this time, too. I mean, I may as Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, right, I never actually... Man, the numbers are so different. Like, I see the 2,000% here, but no, that doesn't actually help much. Um, jeez. So, yeah, I'm, I'm already so close to getting the next reincarnation. I wonder... I wonder... Can I actually reach it within this, uh... How quickly can I reach it? I'll buy those and buy those. 
and thereby boost my itty bitty bonuses even higher. Hey, look, excavations are surpassing your uh, royal exchanges, even though I spent them on buying royal exchanges. Hmm. How close. Hall of Legends? What? But this is spec'd the Citadel. This build was spec'd to the Citadel. Holy crap, all my builds are useless, are, are, are completely changed. Everything I thought I knew, I no longer know. I thought I understood this game. I was mistaken. I no longer know how it works. Oh, man. That's the thing about this. I've played other idle games, and once you figure out the strategy or do something like, that's just the game. But this one, this one is different. All right. This one game makes you rethink everything constantly. All right. Let's try my fairy dwarves. They're not designed to be slow, <laughs> unlike the elves. Boop, 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 boop. Bye. And I'll take those and all of that, and then I should have gotten, wait, maybe I still can. Okay, okay. Yeah, this one, which is only a 37% now, oh man. <sighs> anyway, it's so weird seeing all the stuff smaller. What the heck? This build is supposed to be for the farms, and yet the Halls of Legends. What is going on with the Hall of Legends? Why is it so much better than everything else I have? Where's, where's your upgrade? Increase the production by 500%. Increase the production of other buildings by the amount of trope. That's a significant boost. What if I were to play the Titans whose special building is the Hall of Legends? Uh, I'll take those. Well, that's a thought. Okay, let's see how much we can squeeze out of this, and we'll go check out the Titans. But yeah, they constantly, constantly pull the rug out from under me, never so much as this. Actually, they really didn't pull the rug out from under me, they just give me some new option that would change everything, like mercenaries, or bloodlines, or research, suddenly... Old builds stop working, or stop being, I mean, the old builds are as efficient as they always were, but new builds are way more efficient. This time, though, this time they've pu they actually have pulled the rug out from under me. I am completely at a loss. Oops. All right. Boop, boop, boop. That, and that, and that, and all of that. Hmm. That didn't work out so well. Okay. Titans. Oh, I only have an old Titan build, but then again, it doesn't really matter, because even if I had spec'd up to a more modern Titan build, it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be compatible. Okay, Olympian Hall. Boosting their production by 15% per royal exchange. All right. Okay, good. I still have a Titan build. Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent. 
Oh, oh, right. And the Olympian Hall is always struck by lightning, thanks to one of the researches that I had in this build. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> the deep mines, they don't even matter anymore. You don't, you, don't, you don't need the deep mines. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, right, I need those because that boosts this. Thanks to this. Excuse me. Excuse me, game. Game, you're lying to me now. Look, look, look at this. No, 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 no. Upgrades Hall of Legends, boosting their production by 15% per Royal Exchange. It literally says that. 15% per Royal Exchange, uh-huh. Now uh -huh, that's a that's a lot. That that that's a big number. That's that's more than sixty four percent. I promise you, it's more than sixty four percent. All right, I'm I'm done ranting. I'm not done being annoyed by it, but I'm I'm done ranting. Okay, so it doesn't matter where the lightning strikes; it will strike one hundred percent on what I want it to. So I'll take that and that. And that, and that, and then this. Boost, 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 boost. I guess I should time it so that I could actually get the hundreds and all. Oh yeah, that, that, okay, yeah, okay. I'm not seeing the thing. The thing that gives me more research is the neutral thing. It's not showing up. I'm not getting enough money to get the, the, the rest of my researches. Hmm. I think the elves were proving more effective. Hmm. Boost you a little more. <sighs> oh, crap. I didn't have that. And I didn't have this. Hmm. Hmm. All right, then. Okay, so, closing thoughts. Now that I've had some time to play with the Ascension, I actually like it quite a lot. Um, this has turned out to be a lot steeper than it first appeared. Um, like, much more difficult to achieve than I thought it would be. Also, notice that the requirement is 1.7. You know, so it's an 820. Instead of being a clean... It had always been clean, even numbers before, but now suddenly we get this odd one, which is odd. But, more importantly, um, actually playing with it, I found that there's a huge advantage to the Ascension. The numbers are really small and clean and easy to work with now. A 45% boost, a 37% boost... I can wrap my head around these numbers in a way that I haven't been able to really... The numbers had gotten so big that they were getting beyond what I could even even wrap my head around. Now I can compare them and be like 35%, 50%. Like, I can, I can easily tell what things are worth now. Um, so, I think... That um, this bonus here in particular, if it really is a 700, or 70,000% 70, bonus, like, if it really is that big a bonus, when you compare it to the numbers that we're looking at and everything else, you know, 13%, 18%, 33%, if I'm getting an actual 70,000%, that's going to be a fairly major change. Enough of a change that it's not worth my time right now to even try to optimize anything that I do, because if this is coming, <laughs> look at what this is going to do. <laughs> so, um, this is going to be earth-shattering is what it is. But, uh, yeah, this is a lot steeper, as I was saying, than I first expected. Um, it is hard, uh, to climb, to climb over this, uh, 
This hurdle is huge. It doesn't look that way, but this last last tick is going to take me a lot of work. I'll probably end up setting it into a uh, combo striking overnight with uh, demons. Do the best I can to just kind of slap something together, something coherent, and uh, leave it running. Anyway, uh, that is all. So, until next time, and every time, this is Hadrix signing off.